I can't take myself seriously. So, um, yeah, this is kind of the main shooting area. Um, we have this incredible backdrop. I went with this painted backdrop instead of seamless paper for a couple of reasons. One, I can always add seamless paper, so I wanted to see how this looked in here, and two, it's really hard to change that when you're by yourself. So um, this is really nice. There's two different sides to it. I can constantly be repainting them. Um, it's super easy to just flip around. And actually the sizing of it's really nice because if people want to shoot front lit, I just pull the board out this way um, and it ends up sitting here. And so people are getting the front light um, instead of the side light. So that's been really nice. I made this little scene here, which has been fun. People have been enjoying, sorry, I'll just, Come on over here. Um, this has just been nice. Um, people have just been changing this area however they want. So either they leave the disco balls, they move the plants, um, but it's just nice to have some different areas. Again, I just want someone to walk in and see the space and be like, oh my gosh, that'd be a perfect spot for this branding shoot. Yes, this is kind of why there's lots of these little setups going on. Um, curtains all intentional. Cut out the harsh light when it comes in. The curtains right here. A nice little spin around. <laughs> uh, these are nice to pull shut for a couple of reasons. One, they bounce the light right back in, but two, um, they kind of shut off the shooting space, which is nice because when people are having their photo taken, they don't always like to see me looking at them. <laughs> when I designed this space, um, everything I was thinking about was when you open the door, what is your experience as you walk in? Um, what is your experience as a photographer that's renting? What is your experience as a client of mine? What is your experience as um, a friend coming into co-work? What is your experience as a client of that other photographer? So this is my little kitchenette area. It's really mostly for me, um, just because I'm eating lunch and stuff in here. Um, but I have a nice little popcorn pop up there. I haven't used it yet, but really not much to say here. It's great. I love my kitchenette. Come on, blue fridge. Here we go. A little coffee cart with just some extra room for storage and snacks. <laughs> the frames, originally when I was dreaming of a space, I knew, I, I thought I wanted to have a big wall of photos, um, but with other photographers renting the space, it made much more sense to have photos of the space itself. That is still my work, but not just have my work blasted around when there's other photographers coming into this space. The bar, come on over to Sunlit Studio Bar. <laughs> oh man, this is my neon sign that says today is a good day. Sign was done intentionally. Oh, it's a bright orange neon sign for those of you that are listening and not watching. A bright orange neon sign that says today is a good day. Um, I wanted a sign that would work if people wanted to shoot uh, in the bar area and also one that I wanted to look at when I walked in. So I, when I thought of today's a good day, I'm like, this is perfect because that way I'm just convinced that every day's a good day. Lots of drinks and stuff behind the bar. It's a white fluted bar with a wooden top that, with marble paint on it. It looks incredible. It's my like favorite little piece. Behind the bar is a, just a nice table, co-working table with a shelf above it. Um, just some of my favorite books that have inspired me and helped me to get to where I am, including a book from my high school choir director that she wrote this super sweet note in about going after your dreams um, when I went full time. And then um, some books my parents have gotten me um, that have inspired me along the way. And my cute little Pantone paint things that are my favorite things. Golden Hour, Farmer's Market Mornings and Lakefront Lights in the branding colors of Sunlit Studio. My lounge area, again, when we talk about the experience of walking through, this was put in the middle. At first we thought it would make sense to have my nice pink velvet couch with all the colorful pillows and the green chairs by the bar. Um, but I wanted when clients come in, if we're sitting hanging in this area, I wanted them to be in the middle of the space. Um, there's psychology about being in the middle of a room um, that is just more uplifting for lack of a better term. Um, a nice hat wall, lots of Gigi Pip hats, which are fun. Um, I did that because I did a shoot actually at Creative Club, the new Creative Club upstairs before I had this space. Um, where it was a maternity session and she came in and I was, I had a hat on me and I was like, here, do you want to throw this on for a couple shots? And she, let me tell you, there is nothing that makes a girl feel better than a flat brim hat because she was just owning it. So that's when I was like, okay, this will be fun to have some hats. So when people come in, they can just jazz up their outfit. Um, my desk is on the other side. Um, 
I love my desk, but my chair is too short for my desk, so my hands hurt after I'm typing for a while. But um, yeah, I love my desk. I love the cabinets next to my desk. They, This is kind of my cabinet with a lot of tools and random stuff in there. The other cabinet next to it has, um, it has an air mattress and um, sheets and pillows and all that stuff in case people want to style the space like an in-home session they could do that. Um, I have a prop closet right next to the shooting space here. It's a work in progress but um, I have lots of like champagne glasses, wine glasses, disco balls, heart-shaped glasses, confetti, things that people can come in and use for their shoots. That's those are really the big things. I um, The hats were designed with a little um, wooden peg, which are super a super easy clone out if people don't want the hats in the back and they want to shoot with the pink couch um, and all the fun pillows. So really everything was designed so it's how I want it when I'm working here and when it's my space with my clients, but also where people can um, come and spice it up a little bit to be what they want it to be.